everyone. Welcome to Queen of the Household. My name is Emily and today I'm going to share a follow-up video to one that I previously did where I just showed a room tour of my son's bedroom. He's three years old and I shared kind of how we had decorated it. Today I'm going to share how we organize his room, mostly his clothes and his toys. So first of all, let's start with his clothes. The majority of his clothes are in his dresser. This was a dresser that used to be my husband's when he was growing up, so it's definitely been used and well-loved. But I have all of his clothes on one side of the dresser. In the top drawer, we keep his socks and his underwear, and those are in just two dollar store bins. And then next to that, we have his pajamas and his swimsuit. In the second drawer, underneath of that, we keep all of his shirts. Now, I don't, he doesn't have a whole lot of shirts. I don't, or clothes in general, I should say. I don't go out and buy clothes on a regular basis. Um, I did share a video where I talk about how I transition my son's clothes for the different seasons and how I really plan out what he needs. And I only really buy what he needs. I also do laundry pretty much every single day, maybe six times a week, but for the most part, he always has clean clothes to wear and extra, and I have to actually rotate his clothes to make sure that he gets through all of them and isn't wearing the same clothes every three days or so. But in the second drawer, we keep those shirts, and then in the third drawer underneath of that, that's where we keep um, most of his shorts, and then he has a pair of pants right now because it's summer and it's hot and he really doesn't wear the pants, but he has um, a lot of his shorts in there. And he knows exactly where to go when I tell him to get out a shirt or go get a pair of shorts or go get some socks. He knows where to get them out of his dresser. And then on the other side of his dresser, he has three drawers. The top drawer we keep his pull-ups in because he uses those at nighttime. He is potty trained, but at nighttime he still wears those. And then in the second drawer we have just odds and ends of some of his toys, which I will get to when I talk about the toys. And then in the third drawer, that's where we keep all of his shoes. So he knows where to get his shoes as well. He just pulls open that drawer and gets out a pair, whatever pair I tell him to get. So I've kept it all really easily accessible to him and just it's all organized so that he knows where to um, get his clothes and then also where to put laundry away. He helps me with that as well. We do have a few of his hanging clothes that are just up in his closet and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space at least at this point okay so let's talk about the toys in his room so I think the number one thing about toys is to make sure that you're not buying toys on a regular basis I think that a lot of times we want to continually buy toys for our kids or they see toys and so we want to buy them for them and I think keeping the number of toys that you have for your children to a minimum is really the best way to keep toys under control. Um, and then also to purge regularly. So I don't necessarily go through his clothes or his toys uh, every month or every week, but I would say like maybe twice a year we go through and make sure that he's really playing with those toys. And if he's not, then we'll either put them up to rest and then pull them out later or we will donate them or see if we can sell them, something like that. So another way to keep toys organized is to divide them up based on the toys. So he has this giant toy chest that is actually really special to our family because it was my husband's when he was a child, his parents had made it for him. And so we keep that in his room, but it's really kind of, it's not necessarily functional because it's just like this big box. And so what was happening was all of his toys were just getting tossed into this box and it was a mess. He would just pull them all out and they would all be out on the floor or he, they would all be in the box and he couldn't find the toys that he wanted to play with. And so what I had to do is I had to just put in like some of the bigger toys. So he has some stuffed animals in there right now and then he also has some of his power tools and toys that he takes outside to play with. And that's how I keep that area kind of organized. And then he also has toys just on display. So he has a drum set that he keeps out. He has a chalkboard and then a tin that has his cars and blocks and I keep all of those out on display. He can play with them. He usually just plays with them right where they are. And then he also has some toys that have a lot of different parts to them and so what I like to do is I put them into Dollar Tree bins and I have just slide 
slid them underneath of his bed and labeled each of the bins. So he has a train set, he has a food set, he has a little robot with a bunch of different pieces, and they're just really handy to just pull out. He can pull out one at a time. When he gets done with it, he puts it back in the bin, puts the lid on, and slides it back under his bed. Um, another area that we have for his toys is in his dresser. So he has a dresser drawer that has all of his tools. He got a bunch of tools for Christmas. And so it, the best way for me to keep it all contained is just to put it in that drawer. And then I also have a little red plastic bin in that drawer, which holds his toys from like um, kids meals and just little tiny things that he likes to hold and carry with him. So then he also has a few other toys that I keep up in his closet. He has a golf set. He has um, some cars that make some loud noises so we don't like those out all the time. And then some books that he just keeps up there as well. And um, we'll pull them down every once in a while and kind of rotate those out so that he plays with them. Um, and, but then they also take a break as well. So that's how we keep his toys organized. I hope that that gave you some inspiration and happy organizing with your toys and with your kids clothes. I know that it can be overwhelming at times, but it doesn't have to be. So anyways, if you have any extra tips uh, as well, make sure that you leave those in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.